Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Exclusive Models. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today I'll be taking you two pieces dress. The first one is the top, then the second one is the skirt. The top is a, is a cock up town top, and the skirt is a straight skirt. I'm using two yards for this, I'm using one and a half yard for this. So the first thing I'll be cutting out is the top. First folding is going to be into two this way, then into four like this. So after folding it into four this way, the next thing you're going to take is the sleeve length. The sleeve length I'm taking here is 23 inches with the seam allowance. It's my 23 inches here. You can see. I'll be making use of one inch of shoulder slant. One inch shoulder slant. You can see. You can see it now. Then from here, I'll be slanting it all to the center of both back and front. But before then, I'll be taking the length of my top. So, to take the length, the length I'll be using here is 36 inches with the same allowance. This is my 36 inches, you can see. So, the top I told you is a cock half turn. For the cock half turn, you have to know the wideness of this area, the damp part. It depends on how cold you want your top to be. You can decide to make use of... Um, 10 inches, that is 10 in 4 places is 40 inches. That, will, that is the wideness of the damp part will be 40 inches. So I'm making it of 12 inches so that the damp part will be 48 inches the wideness. You can see. So it's from here that I'm going to make a curve shape to the. You can see the way I'm curving it. You can see. To the length of the sleeve you can see it now you can see the shape i see the way i cough it this is how you're going to cough it to the length of the sleeve then from here i'm going to make a slant line to the center of both back and front so by the time i cut it you're going to see it properly so, you can see, the next thing I'm going to do is to cut it out. So, you can see the shape now. This is after cutting it out, this is the damp part, this is the side. And this is the shoulder to the neckline. So the next thing I'm going to take here is the neckline, the wideness of the neck here. I'm making use of 2.5 inches. 2.5. The thickness of the neck, I'll be making use of 2 inches for the back, then 3 inches for the front. So you can see this is the front neck and this is the back neck. So the back is going to have a slit and that is what I will be doing now. From here, I will be slitting it down to 4 inches. You can see now. The next thing is to lower the front. So, to lower the front, I'll be starting from the shoulder here to this 21 inches so that you'll be able to put it in because the normal half cut is 15.5 inches. So, this should go in a little bit. So, I can still add up to um, 1 inches for it for the same allowance. So, from here, I'm going to cough it down to the to the damp part say the head here you can see this edge that is where we hang the core so i'm going to cup it in like this you can see it you can see so you cannot 
see the shape now you can see the shape of the front because it's a it's an idol this is where you're going to put in and the back doesn't have any idol the back is normal so we are done with the top the next thing to cut out now is the skirt you can see i fold the skirt in such a way that it's going to have a slit at the back and also it's going to have a seat at the back next thing i'm going to take is to take the waist measurement the waist measurement of 28 inches here is it with a same allowance of two inches the length of the skirt is this which is 38 inches but i'm going to add a band of two inches to it to make it 40 inches is with the same allowance so if i can take the hip point up take two inches up then the hip point is nine inches which is here ignore this particular one ignore it so at this area that is where i'm going to take the widening of the hip which is 36 inches that is nine in four places is going to give us 36 inches you can see with the same allowance of 1.5 inches then i'll be connecting them together this way you can see the way i connect it then i'm going to slant it down to this area but further i'm going to take the wideness of this area to be let me just deduct two inches away this is my two inches so from these two inches i'm going to slant it up So by the time I cut it out, you're going to see the shape properly. So you can see the shape now. This is the shape. Yeah. The next thing we're going to take now is to cut out the band. So this is the band. I'm folding it into two this way. They are going to add it to this area. The half inch is going away from this to join this to make a complete band. So let me just finish the stitching, then I'm going to show you the finishing. Welcome back. Here the finish work so far. Mm -hmm. This is the top. You can see it. This is the high low. You can see. You can see where it's putting it in. You can see the shape now. Mm -hmm. You can see the side. You can see the back. And this is the front. So you can see how beautiful this turns out. And this is the skirt. You can see. And also, this is the back slit. The back slit is there. To join this particular dress you are seeing, the top, the first thing I did is the joining of the two shoulders. You can see. After joining the two shoulders, I left five inches down. Then I continue the stitching to the damn part here. You can see it. You can see where it ends. Then after then, I stitch this in. This is where you are going to put your hand, you can see it. Then I bias the neck, the neckline. Then I put my um, loop, then add my buttons to it. You can see the neckline with bias. So this is the front now. The skirt, this is the band that I had to the skirt. You can see it, you can see the band. But you can see how beautiful this turns out if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to it and for those who have already subscribed i really appreciate you guys for watching my video always see you in my next tutorial assalamualaikum